welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing my 1989 Taylor's Version merch collection. After months and months of these pieces being in Fern Jail, all of them have successfully arrived to my house. And I want to show you all of the things that I bought for the 1989 Taylor's Version merch drop. There were a lot of merch drops for 1989 Taylor's Version, and I got some pieces from each one, so I wanted to show you. If you're new, hi, my name is Alexis. I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. I am also a huge, huge 1989 fan. And she blew my expectations out of the water with 1989 Taylor's Version, so I did go a little ham for these merch drops. So I'm very excited for today's video. I also have an Instagram and a TikTok that you can go ahead and follow if you would like. I post almost daily Swifty content on there as well. It will be on the screen and linked down below. But without further ado, I am so excited. So let's jump in to this merch haul. So I'm gonna start with all of the wearable things that I got and then we'll move into the little knickknacks, merchy kind of stuff. So I'm gonna insert some clips of me trying each of these pieces on so you can get a reference for like size how they fit, etc. I believe most of these pieces are still on her merch website, so if they are, definitely go run and check. But without further ado, let's get into these clothes. First ones I'm going to show you are the Wildest Dreams pajamas. These were expensive. I believe they were like $75, $80. Oh boy. So this is what they look like. This is the little top. It has Wildest Dream lyrics all over it. And it has like this kind of like cloudy sky print on it as well, along with seagulls, of course. And the bottoms are a replica of that same print. So Wildest Dream's lyrics all over. I sized up in this. I got a size large, which I am so happy I did because I don't think the pants would have fit if I got my true size. However, I will say that these pajamas are the comfiest pair of pajamas I own. I have a few pairs of these like really comfy Target pajamas and they feel exactly like the Target ones. Like not silky, but somewhere in between like silk and cotton. And they're also really stretchy. I love these. I know they're really expensive and I have an existential crisis every single time I think about the price, <laughs> but these are so comfortable and I'm so glad I got these. All right, moving on, we have the 1989 cardigan. This was a controversial piece for a lot of people, I think. A lot of people said that this is the ugliest thing they've ever seen, <laughs> but I personally think that this is so cute. This is is one of my favorite album cardigans that they have come out with. It has a 1989 patch on the side and all over the back are these seagull patches. I will say that this material feels exactly like my folklore cardigan. The Speak Now cardigan kind of veered away from the like traditional material that the original cardigan came and I didn't like it so I was a little scared that this one was going to feel like the Speak Now cardigan but it doesn't. It feels so good. I love the stitching and it also has the TS patch at the bottom with the 1989 handwriting font. I think it's super super cute and super happy with this one too. All right next one I got was the oh it's a little wrinkly <laughs> one moment. The next thing I got was the Magic Madness Heaven Sin crop t-shirt. This one is super super cute. I got this one in a size medium. I will say I maybe could have done a small. I will say I've seen a lot of people and I kind of agree say that the the, like body of the top is a little boxy like it's not super tight at all so that's why I say I maybe could have sized down but I'm pretty happy with like my true size it's super super cute it's a perfect crop length goes perfectly with like my high-waisted jeans and it has like cute little sequels on it too I love this one love it love it love it love it love it Love it. All right, next one we got is the Rose Garden variant crew neck. This has the cover of the Rose Garden variant on the front with the 99 Taylor's version logo. And then on the back, it has seagulls going up and down the back. I love this crew neck. It's super, super soft. A lot of the crew necks from these drops are like actually so comfortable, which I appreciate. But this one is such a win for me. I love the color. This one's my favorite variant cover too. Too, so I love it and I got a size medium in this one. All right moving on we have 
have the 1989 Eras hoodie. This was in their Eras drop. This kind of design was printed on all of their like crew necks, t-shirts, hoodies, and I decided to get the blue hoodie. So it has Taylor Swift written in the new Taylor's version font and all of the 1989 tour outfits pictured on the front as well. This hoodie is the comfiest thing I own. No joke, no exaggeration. It is so comfortable. I got this one in a size large and I'm so happy I did. I live in this thing. And also what's really cute is on the sleeve, it says 1989 Taylor's version. I just think that detail is so cute. This was another win for sure. Little spoiler alert, I am so obsessed with the 1989 Taylor's version merch collection that they have come out for this album. It's definitely probably one of my favorite Taylor's version collections of merch that we've gotten thus far. Oh my god, I keep forgetting that I'm wearing a piece of merch. Hold on. <laughs> so what I am wearing is the 1989 long sleeve crop t-shirt. It says 99 Taylor's version in this like neon light situation, paying ode to the original 99. But I am obsessed, obsessed with this shirt. I love it so much. I think this is one of my favorites from the entire collection of merch that I have purchased. I got this one in a size small and I love how like tight it is. I think it really frames me very well. I like how it is like super comfy and I have super long arms and the sleeves go all the way down to my wrists, which I appreciate. So this is another piece that I got as well. All right, last piece of wearable merch that I purchased was the Seagull Crew Neck. I unfortunately never bought the Seagull Crew Neck from the original 1989 album drop, so this one was a must. I will say it's probably my least favorite piece of wearable merch that I bought. I think if I got a bigger size, I would like it more, but it's also like not a very like comfortable material inside. The inside material kind of feels like a towel, <laughs> if that makes sense. But the design is super cute. It has seagulls all over it. And then at the bottom, it has a 99 Taylor's version patch, which is super cute. I got this one in a size small. I don't know what was going through my head because I usually always size like one or two sizes sizes up in crewnecks, especially at Taylor's merch store. So I'm not really sure what she was doing here, but it's very cute and I love it. Ooh, okay, we're done with those. <laughs> Moving on, we are going to do CDs and vinyls. I did do a full CD collection a few weeks ago on my channel, so I will have that video linked down below. If you wanna see my full CD collection, I'm just gonna give you a rundown today so we don't have to go through it all again. However, I did get all of the variants of the 1989 album. There were four that she released and I got all of them. However, what I will say is I got two sets of each four variants. One set I purchased from Target because they had really cute little posters in them. And then I got another set from Taylor's website because they came with the 99 Taylor's version Polaroids. So here are all four Polaroid packs that I own. I actually have videos up on my TikTok going through the posters that came in the Target variants and one of going through all of the different Polaroids. So I will have those linked down below so you don't have to sift through my entire TikTok to find those videos. I also purchase the 99 cassette. This is the yellow and green variant. I know that there's one other variant, which is super cool, but I have the yellow and green one. I purchased this off of her website. I just wanted to collect all of the 1989 musical item. So this is one of the things in my collection. I love this. I also purchased the 99 vinyl shelf. I will insert a clip of it on my wall. It's super, super cute. I love it so much. I do have all of the different variants of the vinyls as well. And this is a super cute stand to add to my collection. And I love how it looks on my wall. So I'm super happy about this. And it comes in this cutie little box, which is always a plus. I love me some packaging, you know? All right, the next two things that I have, I actually purchased um, a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, Taylor's website came out with a old Taylor shop, I believe it was called, and it had Speak Now and 1989 merch. And this was before we got either of those Taylor's versions. So I purchased some 1989 stuff that came from that drop. One of the items was the Seagull necklace. It comes in this cute little 1989 box. And this is what the little necklace looks like. It's super cute, silver. I 
I am obsessed with this one and I would wear it all the time if I wasn't scared to break it. So she's in this cute little box. From that same drop a couple years ago, I purchased the 99 sunglasses. The reason why I did this is because I have the sunglasses from the original 1989 era that look exactly like this, but they're black. And so I thought it would be really cute to have one from like the Taylor's version era and then one from the original era. So these are the sunglasses. They are light blue. On the sunglass itself, it says 1989 TS in that old handwriting font. And they're a look. What can I say? I'm also a sucker for nostalgia. So that's mostly why I purchased these. <laughs> I just remembered that I have another merch piece from that old Taylor drop. And so I had to run and get it. And now I think the lighting has changed a bit. So I am so sorry. But this is another um, merch item that I bought from that old Taylor drop. This is the 1989 crew neck. It was originally really blue like a light blue and then I washed it like you do with clothes and it's now like a pale blue almost white so it was originally like a really cute blue but now it's not I believe this is definitely still on her website and I got a size small in this it's super oversized so I just got a small all right we got a couple more things the next thing is actually a capital one giveaway prize capital one did a little giveaway for this 99 tumblr on their twitter for capital one card holders and I tried for like two hours trying to enter this giveaway and I could not win this dang cup for anything. And so my lovely, lovely, kind, wonderful human being of a friend, Tess, she actually sent me the tumbler that she won. Okay, she won this and she decided to send it to me because she is the kindest human in the entire world. But this is the tumbler. I added a little bow, this did not come with it. I am falling um, into the bow trend, so don't mind that. <laughs> but this is the little tumbler. It says 99 Taylor's version and on the back it says Capital One has a huge straw. So I guess I'm in my Stanley era, but make it Taylor Swift because everything I do has to be Taylor Swift. I also was insane and I kept the tape that um, held the box together because it said 99 Taylor's version and this is just cute tape, okay? And then this is the little card that came with the tumbler. All right, next piece of merch I got was the 99 cardigan ornament. This is just a Christmas ornament that I bought. I actually have the folklore cardigan and the speak now cardigan ornament and I actually hang all of them on like an earring rack that I found online. I found the exact one on Amazon so I'll link it down below if you're interested in, in hanging your cardigan ornaments but it's a super cute display and so that's what made me gravitate towards getting the 99 cardigan ornament because I thought it would look really cute with the others but it's super super cute all right last piece of 99 merch that I got is the 99 viewfinder it comes in this cute little box and if you're wondering what the heck do you mean what is a viewfinder the viewfinders that we used to use as kids <laughs> they are so creative for coming up with this like when I saw it I was like I have to get it. like this is the collectors like dream of merch and I'm a collector at heart so I had to get it so it comes with the viewfinder itself and then the little discs with the pictures and a little closer look at the viewfinder it has seagulls at the top and the 99 logo at the bottom and the discs are so cute like the photos that they included are so dang adorable so one disc has the original 99 album photos and then the other disc has all of the Taylor's version 1989 album photos. And it's just so, so adorable. One of my favorite merch pieces by far. And that is it. Those are all of the merch pieces that I purchased from the 1989 Taylor's version merch drops. I am so happy my favorite album is finally home. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love doing merch videos. So if there's any other merch videos that you are interested in seeing, please let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you you want to you can definitely subscribe for more videos like this and if you want to follow me on any of my other social media platforms all of them will be linked down below the heiress tour starts again very very soon so look out for more videos regarding heiress tour tips and preparing for 2024's heiress tour from the comfort of our own home <laughs> because we do not have tickets this year but definitely look out for some more heiress tour videos coming very very soon i love you guys so much i hope you have the best day ever and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!